Hi, they way students learn physical and biological sciences through experiments and practical carried out in the science laboratory. Abstract mathematical concepts can be easily learned and understood through practical work and experiments in mathematical laboratories. In this model deals the concept of laboratory method. This module method is best suited for teaching mathematics at lower classes. Laboratory method introduction. This method is based on maximum learning by doing. This is an activity method and it leads the students to discover mathematics facts. In it we proceed from concrete to abstract. Laboratory method is a procedure for stimulating the activities of the students and to encourage them to make discoveries. This method needs a laboratory in which equipments and other useful teaching aids related to mathematics are available. For example, equipments related to geometry, mensurations, mathematical model, charts, balance, various figures and shapes made up of wood or hardboards, graph paper, etc. Next, I am enlightening the procedure for laboratory method. Procedure for laboratory methods are shown below. Aim of the practical work. The teacher clearly states the aim of the practical work or experiment to be carried out by the students. Next, provided materials and instruments. The students are provided with the necessary materials and instruments. Then third, provide clear instruction. Provide clear instruction as the procedure of the experiment. Four, carry out the experiment. The students carry out the experiment. Then five, draw the conclusion. The students are required to draw the conclusion as per the aim of the experiment. Next, I am discussing some of the examples in laboratory method. Right. Some more topics for laboratory method. Derivation of the formula for the circumference of the circle, area of the circle, area of the square, rectangle, parallelogram and trapezoid. Area of triangle, right angle triangle, isolated right angle triangle. Total surface area of cone, cylinder, volume of the sphere, volume of the clone. Expansion of identities such as A plus B the whole square, A minus B the whole square, A plus B plus C the whole square. Verification of properties of certain geometrical figures like parallelogram, rhombus, etc. And some properties in the triangle, convenience, past physics. Next, I am 
list out in some of the disadvantages of laboratory method. Next, I will list out in some of the advantages of laboratory method merits. This method is based on the principles of learning by doing. This method is psychological as we proceed from known to unknown. It is based on the student's self-facing. It helps in making clear certain fundamental concepts, ideas, etc. It develops the self-confidence and teaches the students the dignity of the learner. The children learn the use of different equipments which are used in laboratory. It develops in the child a habit of scientific inquiry and investigation. This method presents mathematics as a practical subject. It stimulates the interest of the students to work with concrete material. It provides opportunities for social interaction and cooperation among the students. It is a child-centered and therefore it is a psychological method. Next, I am pointing some of the disadvantages of laboratory method disadvantages or demerits. This method can be used for a small class only. It requires a lot of planning and organization. This method is suitable only for certain topics. This method it is not possible to make progress quickly. This method requires laboratory equipment with different apparatus. All mathematics teachers cannot use this method effectively. It is an expensive method. All schools are not able to adopt this method. This method has very little of theoretical part on it. In this method, it is not suitable for teaching mathematics to lower classes. At this stage, teaching is done with the help of concrete things and examples. The success of the laboratory method depends on an able and skilled mathematics teacher as well as the availability of well-equipped mathematics laboratory. This method does not provide much scope for teaching mathematics at high school and higher secondary classes. However, of main topics in geometry, menstruation and applied mathematics can be taught effectively through laboratory method. Thank you.